share Facebook media to different social media platforms like Twitter, Tumblr and LinkedIn automatically. Yes guys, if you are a social media influencer or you are someone who posts content on social media platforms very frequently for uh, different purposes, this automation is for you because it will allow you to share the same content that you have posted on Facebook to different social media platforms automatically. So you do not need to share the same content manually on different social media platforms. So it will surely save a huge amount of your time and energy and it will uh, it will automate your process and it will streamline your working. Let me show you how this is going to work. So this will be the flow of this automation. You just have to create a post and share it on Facebook and the same content is going to be created as a tweet on Twitter automatically, on LinkedIn as a post automatically and as a blog on Tumblr automatically. You need not to manually uh, post the same content on different social medias. Okay, so that is uh, how it is going to work and to make this happen we are using Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation tool and the best part is you can set up this automation in very few easy steps without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So let's set up this automation together. So guys, first of all, login into your Pavli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. And to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every month. Okay, so sign up right now and log in to reach here. And guys, here you have to start working by creating a workflow. So just click here on this create workflow button and here you can uh, give any suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here, share Facebook Facebook, sorry, media on different social platforms. Okay. So you can give any name according to you. I have given this name. Now you can click on this create button and you can see your workflow uh, is creating here like this. And on this page guys, you will find these things, the trigger and the action. So this automation work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of any event which is going to trigger or start this workflow. And the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be an, a content posted on uh, Facebook and the action would be to share the same content on other different social medias. Okay. Like we have mentioned the Twitter, the Tumblr and the LinkedIn. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up this trigger. So the trigger application is Facebook. So you have to search for Facebook here. This one, actually we are uh, taking the content from Facebook pages. So select Facebook pages here. Now in the trigger event, select new post option, then click on connect and from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Facebook pages. Okay. So you can see we are connected here because I have already logged in here in Facebook. You can see, uh, this is my Facebook and I am handling this page named as Pabli tech. So it got connected here automatically, right? So now you have to select the page you are working on or you're posting on. So here in this page field, when you click, it will show you the list of all the pages that you have created in Facebook. So name of my page is Pavli Tech. I'm, I'm going to search for it. Here it is, select it. Now it is asking for number of posts. So here you have to enter the number of posts to be uh, retrieved in every request. Okay, so uh, we want to fetch the post content one by one. So I want, I'm putting here one only. Okay. So whenever I post one post in Facebook, that is going to be retrieved here. Okay. Now click on save and send test request. And you can see it fetch the details and the content of a most recently created post in Facebook. So you can see it is showing us this content here. It has 
द मैसेज Easily connect multiple applications to automate your task. This is a message we got. This is the picture p uh, picture link we got. We got another label. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the uh, target URL. This means this is the URL of the Facebook page. Let me show you this. Okay, so this is the same. Uh, this is the Facebook uh, post most recently created. Let me show you on the page also. You can see this is this was the most recent post, and the data of this post got captured here in this form. So here we got the link of the post. Here we got the link of the image. You can see. Here we got the message or the caption. So this is how we can capture the post data from Facebook. Now. I want to share the same post on different platforms, right? Like LinkedIn, Twitter, and uh, Tumblr. So first of all, let me connect Twitter here in this action step. So I am searching for Twitter. This is Twitter selected, and the action event would be create tweet with media because we have a media attached here, a photo attached here in this post. So we'll create a post here with media in Twitter. So select create tweet with media, then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Twitter. And I have already logged in in Twitter. You can see this is my Twitter account. Okay. So click on it, <clears throat> and that will bring you to the login window. If you are not logged in, or if you are logged in like me, it will just ask for uh, Pavli Connect to take the permission to get the access. To your Twitter handle, so click on Authorize App. Okay, and you can see the authorization is successful, and we are connected. Now it is asking for the message and the uh, media file URL. Okay, <clears throat> so I am going to use the data that I have received here in the first step from Facebook, and I am going to map the data here. So I, in the message, I am going to uh, map the caption that we have received here in this uh, label. Let me show you. Here is, we have this message label, and here we have the caption. So I'm going to map this label here. So to map this label, just click here, and you will see this Facebook step in the drop down, which was our first step. And from here only, you can get the details that you have received. And from here only, I'm going to map this label, which is message label. Let me show you. Here is the message. Map it. Okay. For the media file URL, use the same. Uh, same step and here you will uh, see another uh, label which is full picture label okay map this full picture label where we have got the uh, link of the photo that we have posted on facebook okay so the media category is image that is selected now you can check your connection with twitter by clicking on save and send test request and you will see a new uh, tweet here on your uh twitter handle let me open the profile so this is uh, my twitter handles profile okay now let me click on save and send test request and let's see what happens okay so you can see this is the response we have received here let's let me show you in twitter if we got a new tweet created let me refresh my feed and you can see a new tweet is created here like this with the same photo that we have here in facebook you can see this one is here and now it got posted here with the same caption you can see easily connect multiple applications to automate your task this was the caption here and the same caption got uh, attached here okay so that is how you can uh, automate the flow between facebook and twitter now i am going to connect uh, linkedin in this uh, another step i will just click on this plus icon and now in the action step search for linkedin okay and in the action event select share an article or url option okay then click on connect from this window select and new connection then click on connect with linkedin okay so it is asking for me to sign up so you so sign in sorry so you have to put the password and sign in here So you can see I got connected by signing in. Okay. 
now it is asking for the author's name so this is my linkedin profile and the author's name is ashi rai so you have to select name as ashi the content and the article you are in the visibility so here again i am going to use the data that we have received from the facebook from the first tab so for the content just click here and from this first tab map the same message label from where we got the uh, caption okay so you will get the message label here this one map it for the article url go to facebook step and uh, map this link this one action zero link label map it this is the article url and the visibility you make it public you want to show it to only connections you can uh, use these options i am making it public okay now let's check our connection with linkedin so i am clicking here on save and send test request and let's see what happens so this is the id label we have received here let's check in linkedin if we got a new post created so i'm refreshing the feed again so here you can see a new post got created here with this caption easily connect multiple applications to automate your task this was the uh, thing i have mapped here in the content and we have the article url as well here in linkedin and when you click on it you will reach the facebook pages post okay so this is how you can connect linkedin with facebook right now it's time to uh, post the content of facebook media on tumblr for that to happen click on this plus icon and connect tumblr here so search for tumblr this is it select it and in the action event now you have to select uh, create text post option and then click on connect and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with tumblr so uh, as i have already logged in in tumblr also it is just asking uh, for giving pably connect request uh, permissions to access the tumblr account so just click on allow and it will be connected with tumblr so you can see we are connected now and here it is asking to select your blog so let me show you this is my blog guys named as pably to select it from here so guys after selecting your blog here you need to enter the link of the photo and the caption and all these things to create a photo post on tumblr okay in the action event you have to select photo post create photo post not text post because we got a photo here in this post in facebook okay so after selecting this for create photo post select the blog now it is asking for these things so guys for this photo I am going to use this step which is the Twitter step okay not the Facebook step because here in the Twitter when you uh, when you post a tweet in Twitter in the response you will receive this label let me show you the media file oh, sorry not this one <clears throat> you will get this label media zero URL HTTPS so here you will get this media URL with this with this HTTP leading address. Okay, so to post a photo in Tumblr, we need to have the uh, media link in this format with the HTTP leading HTTP address and the uh, type of photo, which is the extension .png. Okay, so I'm going to use this label to post the photo in Tumblr. So I'm going to click here in photo step and from this Twitter, I'm going to map the media URL label, which is this. Okay. In the caption, you can use the first step and map the message that you got, which is here, right? And if you want to put a click through link, you can put a tag, you can put a custom URL and all the things. Now let me show you how the post will appear in Tumblr. I am going to click on save and send test request and new post will be created here in your Tumblr account. Okay. So I am clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens. And you can see this is the response we have received. Let's check in Tumblr if we got a new post created. And here you can see we got a new post created here with the same image and the same caption that we have mapped here like this okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys so you just have to create a post in facebook page and the same post will be created on tumblr on linkedin and on twitter automatically okay so you need not to do anything manually here 
it will it will work automatically and you have to set up this automation only once let me give you a quick recap guys first of all connect trigger uh, connect facebook page in the trigger after that capture the post uh, content like this after that connect twitter in the action step and map the data like this to create a post in twitter after that connect linkedin in another action step and map the data like this and then connect tumblr <clears throat> and map the data like this so when you map the data like this what will happen whenever you post a new post in facebook these labels are going to change and a new post will be created in all social media media platforms together okay and guys the best part is you can use this same workflow that i've created because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel